And more than 900 Mayo Clinic staff members across the Midwest have contracted coronavirus over the last two weeks or are caring for loved ones. And Minnesota health care workers are begging people to follow the new COVID-19 restrictions as the virus is having alarming impacts on the quality of care that uh, health officials can provide patients. Kamari Com Bray heard frontline workers plea for the community uh, to help stop the spread. Kamari. Tom and Caitlin, the virus rates are getting to the point where some hospitals are on divert, meaning they have no room to take in emergency patients. That issue and the lack of COVID precautions frontline workers see is a heartbreaking issue. I'm so desperate for people to take this seriously. And I can once I can I can use my emotion to try to get through to people because it's all bottled up. Powerful testimony from frontline workers asking the community to mask up and not to gather in groups because they see the critical side of the virus and the patients most vulnerable. He came in with shortness of breath and he was critically ill. And I knew I had to walk back in there and tell him his COVID test was positive. And when you do that to someone in their 90s, they know what that means. He said to me, he said, Dr. McLean, I don't think I've been this scared since I fought in Korea. He is now a statistic, a district statistic. The increase of cases is making it hard for many hospitals to properly care for patients. Karis Healthcare in Wilmer, Minnesota has been on divert 10 times in the first 11 days of the month. When our hospital's on divert, it means that we can't hospitalize a patient with COVID. But it also means we can't hospitalize a patient that has that heart attack or has that stroke or has something else that they need to be hospitalized for. And we have to look for a bed elsewhere. On top of that, Karis Health has more than 1,200 staff members out because of the virus. Alina Health, more than 800. And Mayo Clinic, more than 900. As we approach Thanksgiving, the doctor says big gatherings have negative impacts. A lot of those people are going to end up sick. Some of them are going to end up in the hospital and some of them are going to end up dying. And that's what's overrunning our hospital system right now. The governor and health officials hope more people will see that wearing masks and social distancing is not a political decision, but can help save lives. They urge people not to gather with non-household members for Thanksgiving. In the studio, Kamaria Bray, KTDC News.